Bonjour everyone, how are you guys doing today? Today I want to talk about something that I think every single Lost Ark player should know about, which is what you should prioritize getting in the Lost Ark shop in-game. Now if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I post videos on this channel daily. Also, I stream on Twitch Monday to Friday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to come hang out, chat live, whatever it is, come chill. Now onto the video. So before we get into it, I think the best place to start is how do you get the currencies to spend money in the shop? Well, there's two different types of crystals. There's these orange crystals, which are only obtainable through spending real life money. And then there are these blue crystals, which are the ones you want to focus on which are obtainable through either converting your money into orange crystals and then converting them into blue crystals, or by converting your gold into blue crystals. Now, how do you turn your gold into blue crystals? Well, I'll tell you. You open up the shop, you go into currency exchange. Under currency exchange, you're gonna go buy crystals. And in this interface, this is where you are going to take your gold and turn them into crystals. So essentially what you're doing here is that you're taking people who are spending real money on the game, so essentially people who are whaling, and you're paying them gold in order to get their crystals. So if you look on this board right here, you're gonna see everybody's offer. Usually this box should be listed at the lowest possible price of whoever is listing, but sometimes it'll update while you're making your trade. So just keep an eye out for that. And then here you want the quantity of packs you wanna buy. So for 411 gold, you will get 95 blue crystals. You could put two, it'll go up three, and it'll just pretty much keep getting filled out, right? Once your order is filled out here, you could just go into the history tab and over here you will see a history of all of your transactions. Essentially, once a transaction has gone through, this box in the bottom right uh, will have a either claim button lit up for the blue crystals or if you ever decide that you wanna take your gold back and you do not wanna buy the blue crystals, you will just cancel the order here in the transaction window and then claim your gold back through this little window. Now, let's touch on what you want to spend your crystals on. The one that I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about is Marie's Shop. Marie's Shop sells almost every single material for honing at the cheapest price. I think the only one that is an exception to this is probably Destruction Stones. Um, otherwise, every single other resource here is going to be at its lowest possible price. This could change in the future depending on how the economy changes, and how the blue crystal economy changes, but... As it stands now, this is the cheapest way to get most of your honing materials. Whatever you're doing, it is always worth buying out this shop, depending on what you need. If you need leap stones, always pick up the T2 leap stones. You're going to be so dry on that when you're in tier, uh, tier 2. Uh, you know, life shards, harmony shards, depending on what you're doing. If you're leveling up an alt, if you're leveling up uh, your main, which most people are probably leveling up their mains right now. This is all super, super useful. So be sure to check her shop on reset and always be spending your blue crystals on the honing materials that you need. It is super worth it and is going to accelerate your progression like crazy. Now, if you're like me, you've probably seen a shit ton of people with this ship. And I personally thought this was a ship given out as a platinum reward, which it might have been. But you can actually get this ship out of the shop. It's 420 crystals. And if you've done anything in the late game, you know how much you actually sail around in this game. Now, what makes this ship freaking awesome is that it gives you a chance to get your fast sailing energy back upon using it. And it will also automatically consume your fast sailing energy when you're autopathing. Now, I don't know any psychopath who manually sails in this game, <laughs> but this ship is massive. This is definitely a best in slot ship skin. This is gonna save you a ton of time in this game and might even save your ass if you're ever trying to get to an island spawn and you're like just a little bit too late. This is definitely, definitely, definitely worth the crystal investment in my opinion. Now, the thing I think is the most important thing to get out of the shop, the thing that is the closest to being a must have is the Crystalline Aura, which is the subscription for Lost Ark. Now again, it is 420 crystals. That is super freaking worth it. And this is just... Playing without this is probably painful. <laughs> again, nothing is required. You can definitely play this game free to play. But the benefits you get from Crystalline Aura are insane. And again, you do not have to swipe to get a Crystalline Aura. You are able to just use your in-game gold and transfer it into your monthly sub. Things like the tripod being free, the ocean liner fee being reduced, huge. It might sound silly, but those silver transactions do add up quickly, and you are gonna come to a point where you're gonna start running out of silver, especially when you start hitting T3, and your honing costs start to go through the roof. Life energy recovery is actually huge. It's gonna help a ton in your character's progression, and making sure you use, consume all of your life energy and having more of it 
is really, really, really useful. The Bifrost slots, in my opinion, are probably one of my favorite things. Without these Bifrost slots, I think doing my Unas dailies would make me want to die. You do unlock Bifrost slots later on, but it is a long while before you are going to get to the point where you can unlock your Bifrost naturally. And so starting the game with three slots means that you can set your Bifrost teleports to each of the islands where you perform your Una daily tasks. And it also means that on all of your alts, doing your Una dailies take just a, like, you know, like 10 minutes because you're not sailing around the world. You just set it somewhere, they teleport there, they're ready to go. All of these stronghold things, the research time, crafting time, dispatch time, and the energy recovery are massive. You should always be researching things in your hideout. You should make sure you're trying to craft something, make sure you're leveling it up. This is something we're going to go deeper into in its own video. Um, but all of the stronghold stuff is super important, super helpful, and you're going to be really, really happy you get this. Skins are also something that might be worth getting off the Lost Ark shop. As it stands, I do believe that the price of these skins on, at least the LR skins, are cheaper on the auction house than they are on the Lost Ark shop. But as they add more skins, if there's something that you like how it looks, get it. You have to remember as well, skins in Lost Ark have stats attached to them. Not only things like charisma, courage, knowledge, intellect, they also have main stat bonuses. So let's say when the first legendary skin comes into the shop, if that's sold for blue crystals, when the if there's just you know a weapon skin or whatever it is, something that you're missing, maybe eye skins, whatever it could be, you are getting stat bonuses from this. So being able to purchase skins with gold is massive. Now I do want to touch on one thing that I personally find is very, very worthwhile. And this is the only thing in the video that will cost real money. And that is the level 50 complete pack. It costs 1100 crystals. And these are the crystals that can only be purchased with real money. But the return on these crystals is massive because it's 1100 crystals, so just about like, you know, 10 or $11 US, is converted into 2600 blue crystals just for hitting level 50. This is massive. Now, if you compare it to how much these crystals would cost normally, 4,700 of these orange crystals is about $47, right? It's about 50 bucks. So you're getting more than, let's say, $50 worth of crystals for $11. This is obviously once per account, but this is massive. Those crystals can go towards the your Marie shop and in honing materials for your character. Those crystals can go towards buying your ship, which makes traveling the world a lot easier and a lot more convenient. This could all even go into sub, right? You can get like, let's say six months of sub with those amounts of crystals. So you don't have to even think about it for six months. You're good to go. You got the crystal I know are running and nothing to sweat about. If you are planning on spending money in Lost Ark, this is absolutely the first thing you should buy. And if you are planning on buying one thing in the shop for real money, be sure that it is this chest. It is an absolute steal. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. As I said before, I post every single day. Also, check out my Twitch, which will be linked in the description box down below. I stream Monday to Friday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, join the community Discord. I have a active Discord community with a bunch of Lost Star content and a bunch of awesome people in it. I would highly recommend you guys check it out. The link will also be in the description box. As always, I hope you guys found today's video helpful. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.